It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey, hey, everybody. Today I'm taking a look at Speakeasy here, a game for two players, an abstract game, which is based on and rethemed from the classic game of Ludran Chi, uh, which is a little bit like Stratego. And in this one, you are trying to discover where your opponent has played their speakeasy and take it out of play. You're going to be moving your pieces, capturing your opponent's pieces, um, trying to maneuver to finally make that killing move and win the whole thing. Let me give you a look at how this works, then we'll come on back and I'll tell you what I thought of it. So here's what the game might look like after both players have set up their sides of the board. As you can see, the player playing yellow here, the player sitting uh, uh, opposite me, would have all their pieces facing them, and of course they would not be able to see my pieces. And the objective is to capture the opponent's speakeasy, which is going to be placed in one of these two spots here. So in this case, uh, oh, I forgot where I put it, right there. Okay. And then I have the same thing on my side, and then the distribution of all the other pieces, of course, is completely up to you, except for a couple of limitations. The rules of the game are very straightforward. In fact, this is the entirety of the rules here. There's nothing on the back of this sheet. That's it. So one single sheet of uh, rules, and on your turn, you are quite simply going to be moving a piece. When you move a piece, you are going to move it along the streets, which are the yellow... Uh, sp uh, spaces, the, all, all the yellow connected spaces. You can move as far as you want to on a street until you hit a piece, of course. Uh, you have the alleys, which are the the black streets here, the ones colored in, in uh, with that gray color. And you can move a single space into or out of those. Or you can also move into one of the buildings in here, which start empty. And as soon as anyone's in a building, that space is protected. Your opponent cannot walk in there and start a fight. Fights in this game are pretty straightforward. Let's say I'm the start player. I'm going to move this piece into here. I would reveal my piece. It's a five. Reveal their piece. It's a seven. The seven beats the five, and the five is out. You compare the totals, again, except for a couple of special pieces that I'll talk about in a second. Once I've gone, gone and taken my uh, turn. It's my opponent's uh, turn now. And they could move and attack. They could just move and reposition, whatever. They could come in here. This is a two. Mine is also a two. If there's a tie, they are both out. The other pieces, the special pieces are, you have the FBI agent right here that takes anything out and it itself goes away. So it'll, it'll knock out any piece on the board. But, of course, it itself will go. You have the, uh, the speakeasy itself, as I said, is the one you are trying to hit. And it will not move. The babe pieces also will not move. And they also will take anything out except the kid pieces that are very weak will be taken off the board by anything except the babe pieces. And the kid will trump that piece. All right, that's pretty much it. That's that's the whole game. You go back and forth taking turns, sometimes jumping into a building for protection, trying to suss out where your opponent put their speakeasy, where they put the three babe tokens. Those three cannot move, and you sort of want them to uh, protect uh, the back rows. In fact, you have to place them in your back two rows. You cannot put them anywhere else. Um... And that's the whole game, just about. Keep on moving, keep starting fights, capturing pieces. I actually knew that was a seven. That was a very bad move. Uh, until someone takes out the opponent's speakeasy by moving in there. Once that happens, game's over, and that player is going to win. Um, hmm, let's see, I'm going to do this. This player is going to go in here. This is going to go there. I guess my main concern with the game is that it's not really bringing anything new, anything original to a game like Stratego or like the one it's based on. I, I, I guess the theme is new, but honestly, I find this theme very trite to the whole gangsters and babes thing. 
just does not seem um, does not seem useful, and it's not even particularly well used in the game. Honestly, it doesn't make for nice artwork because this is all the artwork you're getting right here on the cover. The pieces are not ideally shaped because they topple over very easily. So you're gonna have you know four or five, six moments in every game where you do that whole like, "Oops, don't look! I flipped over. You know, I, I knocked it towards you, and now you can see what it is." which is really annoying, and Stratego figured out a while ago that the base should be wider than the piece so they don't topple very easily, so you don't have that. And just the gameplay is ho-hum, you know, at the end of the day. I don't see myself, and I, I guess I don't see anyone playing this over Stratego, or over other games that utilize a Stratego mechanism. This one just does not, um, in my opinion, bring anything new or fresh to the table. And so for me, this would be a pass. Now, if you're a huge fan of Stratego and you think you see something fresh here, something new, then give it a shot. The game works. It's not broken. And it does have some tactics in there, you know? Being uh, clever with your use of the FBI agents, being clever with your use of the kid pieces. That's neat, you know? And, and it works well. But it also worked in Stratego, you know? So that's my main concern there. So again, if you really like the genre, if this is something that is really appealing to you, it's singing to you, then go ahead and check it out. There's nothing wrong with it again. For me, however, nothing new in the package here. Uh, theme doesn't do anything for me. Um, not much here to recommend. So uh, this one I, I think would be a pass. That is Speakeasy. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.